What's up with his fingers, though? We have the Loyal Subjects Leonardo Battle Ready Edition. This was the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. This black paint wash, limited edition. You could only get it at Comic-Con or some other toy shops. Here is Leo. Awesome artwork on the side. And then the back packaging, of course, stellar. This is the figure based on the art by Mateus Santaluca. More of his awesome artwork on the other side. Looking great. This figure, pretty cool. Let's crack it open. Of course, comes with the card and the cool background. This one's a nice sparkly blue. The card, pretty cool. They're like the collectible cards you used to get. Has artwork. This is the regular version of the figure, so if you're wondering how it looks like without the black wash, it looks like that. And more stellar Santa Luco art. Getting the figure out, there's no ties. They use a plastic tray at the Loyal Subjects. Oh, incredible. This figure here, so here you can see the wash. It gives him like a darker look. Some people say it looks wet or a little greasy. I think it looks cool. It looks like a dirty, grungy sewer turtle. The articulation, they got the butterfly joint there, works great. The bicep swivel, I think there's a little weakness in that joint when you're trying to move the arm up. There's the double jointed elbows, people don't like how severe it is. I think it's cool, gives you good articulation. And then normal wrist action here, and the weirdo fingers. There's the weirdo fingers, pretty cool, everyone loves it. It's only one pair of hands though, the legs. Good articulation there, he's doing the full splits. And of course there is the thigh cut. Not a fan of that, but, you know, does help for articulation. The double-jointed knees. The feet are pretty good. Not a lot of range in the feet, though, just because the way they're sculpted, the movement should be there, but it catches on itself, so you really can't do a whole ton. Flip them around, check out the back. The shell, very good detail on the shell. Not really painted, but great sculpt there. The scabbard's pretty awesome. The swords, they come in it by default. Here's a nice sword painted up just how you need. I like it. Simple elegant. Now here's an issue I had with this figure. The arm popped out. Trying to get it back in, the shoulder cuff like scuffed it up. You can see the plastic is like, it's like very sharp and strong. So I was trying to mash it in and it looked like to me there was like two pegs jointing out. So it seemed like there was just too much peg. What I didn't realize, even though the, the joint was like scuffing it up because I was putting it in wrong, there's two little holes top and bottom that that peg slots into to secure the arm. I don't know if my plastic was just weaker or what, but I totally messed it up and I thought it would be a good idea to snip it. So now mine comes out pretty easily. It's secure. It doesn't fall out um, and kind of makes the articulation more. But, you know, that's an issue. Don't cut the peg. Let's get him rotating. Yeah, looking good. And he comes with two short little daggers, again, styled like the swords. Comes with two bandanas. They're basically the same for the different head sculpts. You just slot them on in the back. They go in pretty good. I wish it was a, a little easier to get them in. I don't know. It's it's fine. It's just kind of a little bit of a pain. Then you twist it around however you like. More spinning. Here's the other head. This one has eyes. Mine, it looks like the it's like a misprint. You can see it's just off a tad, you know, the little circle. That one's how it's supposed to be. Pretty cool Leo's piercing yellow eyes, we all remember. And then, yeah, we get his bandana in there. He comes with two whooshy sword effects. Pretty cool. Slide that on each sword. You can do like a, whoosh, wow, it's going so fast. Is that is that the effect or did I just move it so fast? There's the best action sticker. And then he has two kind of grippy hands and then two like opener hands, you know, claw climb hands. And then, of course, the hands he comes with on, he has like the, the middle finger in between for the grip, which does make a very secure grip. It just looks... It looks weird. It's it's weird to get used to, but it is a hell of a strong grip. So, you know, I mean, is that is that like the best sword grip? Maybe if you had three fingers, it seems natural to go there, and then it's, it's super tight. It just looks odd, especially if you don't have anything in there. It's like, what is he doing? So you got to swap that out. Short little peg. I wish the pegs were longer, but you put that in there. Easy peasy. Not, not a problem. Doesn't fall out or anything. Just would be nice to have it longer for more, like, articulation. You know, he's like, go time with the sword. And he's doing some, like, reach behind for the other sword action. A little whooshy effect. Ooh, super whooshy. He's throwing that super fast. And then let's get, like, another dagger in the hand. Slides in there nice and easy. The grip, I don't know, it's, it's a little too open at the bottom. Not a, a huge fan of that. But, ooh, look, spinning and whooshy and daggering. You can't put the sword effect on the daggers. That kind of sucks. The figure, great. It has good balance. Look at him doing a kick. That's pretty rad. A little bit different kick. That one looks cooler. The head spinning by itself. The head joint, it's just a standard like ball on the neck. The neck doesn't have articulation. It's kind of tight. You can see like I scuffed it the hell up. I don't know why they paint these joints. But yeah, it's kind of, it's it's tight, which I guess, I don't know, good, bad. 
decent articulation. You just gotta you gotta work at it. Then you can see since I jacked up the arm, it falls out pretty easily if you're messing with it. So I just gotta be careful. Again, not loose, but now it comes out the drop of a hat if I want it to. Get that bandana back in. Can get the sword back in too. Again, remember there's there's holes for that peg on top and bottom. So if it pops out for you, that's where you're gonna put them back in. Easy peasy. Cool looking figure, honestly. I like it. And you can see here that that middle fingered grip is super strong. Get him spinning with two swords. Ooh, kind of a classic comic pose. And then a bit of a ooh, he's running with swords pose. And then kind of classic, you know, two hands, one sword. Love that. Always fun. And then the, the upper strike. And then the whooshy strike. So pretty cool. Lots of action. You can get lots of cool poses out of this guy. Very articulate. Then let's compare him to the Sinja bot having a sword showdown, Clash and Steel. Then next to Secret of the Ooze Mikey, so you can see for reference, he's like five inches. Then Mutant Mayhem Leo, so he's taller than that. All in all, great figure, comes with lots of cool stuff, big fan.